Well, hello YouTube. This is Crowd68 from Germany near Frankfurt and um, coming to you today with a tobacco review of a tobacco I really love. It was my first all-day smoke. It was actually the first tobacco I've um, been smoking for quite a while. <clears throat> and um, it's um this tobacco here it's McBaron's plum cake um it's uh, i think it's a fantastic tobacco and it's a real classic and um but there are a lot of mysteries also about this tobacco because um many people ask themselves why on earth um is this tobacco called plum cake when there is no plum aroma in it or I can not detect any plum aroma and the reason is <coughs> Plexit um, there is no plum aroma in McBurn's plum cake now <coughs> before we actually come to the solution to the question why it's called plum cake there are no plums in it mm. I want to tell you what's actually in it it's a tobacco made of uh, Virginia ribbon cuts uh, from the United States and Brasilia, uh, from Burley Ready Rubbed, also from Brasilia and Malawi. Then there is the original Beck Baron Cavendish, which is uh, a dark fight Kentucky, also coming from Malawi. And then there is Syrian Latakia in it. And it has been flavored with um, Jamaica rum, according to McBaron. And and this is a mistake on tobaccoreview.com. There are there is no plum aroma in this tobacco, right? Um, it's um, it's a strong tobacco. Medium strength, I'd say, and uh, it has a wonderful aroma. In the beginning you um, have a certain spiciness coming from the Latakia although it's Syrian Latakia and it's not as strong as the uh, Latakia from Cyprus and then later in the pipe uh, the spiciness goes away and you're left with a, um, a sweet and, and um, dark symphony of tastes right this is a real blend right so it's very difficult to discern the different mm, types of tobacco it's a symphony of dark sweet tastes wonderful right and it's a great smoke and uh, usually when you're not doing reviews your pipe will stay lit right don't pack it too tight um, and smoke it slowly and you will find a most enjoyable plant. Let's do some housekeeping. I'm smoking this tobacco from my Crown Winslow Drunken Billiard, which I actually bought in uh, Miltenberg in, at uh, Magna Falcom. I put you um, uh, <coughs> a link down in the, in the box. And Miltenberg is definitely worth a go. First of all, for this wonderful um, tobacconist, who has got, I don't know, 500 different pipes on offer from all the big names and makers. Uh, he's got a wide range of fantastic uh, house blends. And of course, he also provides some um, tobaccos from all the major producers. So if you're in Germany and you want to go to a town that's quintessential German half-timbered houses, old inns, actually the oldest inn in Germany, Der Riesen, the giant, right, which has been running up and running now since 1411, right, so the later Middle Ages. I also put you a link down there in the box so you can check out the, the inn. It's a great town to go, right? It's just an, an hour, an hour 20 from Frankfurt by, by car or by train. You can get there by train. Um, and it's definitely worth a go. Really picturesque. Um, it's on the River Main, uh, 
it's a <clears throat> can take little river cruises there and um, yeah it's it's a it's a wonderful place for tourists right so if you're in germany and you can make it and go there and you're a pipe smoker then and you like german beer and german food right it's definitely uh, worth an outing okay but coming back to our plum cake so the plum cake why on earth do they call it plum cake when there is no plum aroma in it and the reason why that is is because i think it's named after the english plum pudding or plum cake which is um a old recipe from the um 18th the beginning of the 18th century and it's a it's a pudding made of uh, suet muscovado sugar um raisins spices flour and it's steamed for hours over water and um, then in the end when the the pudding is ready it's um it's also um soaked with brandy or with rum right navy rum i guess um which is also spiced as we know and um and this is where the name comes from right i also um, went to merriam webster's dictionary and found out that plums was actually a name for raisins in the 18th century in in, in england and another possibility is the color of the cake which is um is, uh, is, is red and violet right um so this is i think where the name comes from so it's a little confusing because nowadays of course plum cake is not <laughs> well known and because it um, takes so long to produce it nobody is well hardly anybody is making plum cake anymore on its own you can buy it in shops i think um, uh, but if you want to i also pu put a recipe down in the box and um, there's also a picture you can you, see, you can see the the plum cake so you get an idea where this where the name comes from well how does it smoke uh, well don't pack it too tightly in your pipe and smoke it slowly and um, it will be very enjoyable i think and especially um, in in the colder season i mean matches 860 right he he made it his or one of his um uh christmas season tobaccos last year and this year he's smoking it again and i can understand why right because around in this um uh in this in this season with a cup of coffee or tea and a biscuit in the blue hour late afternoon when this <clears throat> when it's getting dark outside you light a candle or if you have a fireplace and then you sit down and have some plum cake yummy right it's an absolute winner i think um it's a symphony of of these dark plum cake tastes right there is the spiciness which comes from the latakia and then there is this chocolatey sweetness coming from the burley and from the virginia and from the original cavendish which was developed for uh, the solemn mixture which i think has been out now since the early 1950s and i think if only a few years later they must have made a uh, plum cake um, because it the only component that's different from from the from the solemn mixture is that mcbrand's plum cake has got the the ready rubbed uh, burley in it whereas the the solemn mixture only um uh, uses Virginia, um, original McBaron and Latakia. And the idea was, uh, McBaron's wanted to create a Latakia blend, which is, has a tolerable room note. So <laughs> not all women and, um, Latakia haters, um, get up and running when you light your pipe. And I think they did a great job with the salt mixture and also with, um, so back I'm moving here, which is the, the plum cake right um that's definitely um uh, they succeeded in doing that um <clears throat> so if you're looking for a tobacco for the colder season which is um spicy and sweet and tastes like tobacco for the whole pipe then baron's um, plum cake is probably your weapon of choice right um, although I have to say Plexit, <laughs> there is no plum aroma in the plum cake, but it's named after this wonderful 
um, traditional British um, pud, right? So um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this review. Stay healthy and um, uh, enjoy your pipes and um, see me again here on my YouTube channel uh, at Crowd68. So take care.